yeah, this thing's got way more pull than my last bike, and we're not even broken in yet. This this is gonna be fun. Yep, pretty sure that was a cop. Hello everyone and welcome to 5th North. I'm Demir and today I'm doing my first official ride on my normal route with my 2024 Triumph Street 7765 RS in this absolutely beautiful cosmic yellow color. Um, welcome back to the channel to those of you who are repeat viewers and uh, thank you for your continued support and if you're new to the channel, welcome. Glad to have you. Um, Alright, so here it is. This is my first official ride. Well, I guess technically not my first ride since obviously I rode the bike home back from the dealership. But it is my first official ride since bringing the bike home and getting all my cameras mounted and just going out on my usual um, route that I take. Um, anyway, with that being said, um, if you're not aware, this is my uh, dream bike, if you will. It's a bike that I've been thinking about for a really long time. I've been a fan of Triumph um, for as long as I can remember and specifically the Street Triple has been a favorite of mine so check out my previous uh, Street Triple video if you want to know the whole story but long story short I finally got a chance to purchase a Street Triple and uh, let's talk about it you know how do I uh, how do I feel and honestly it's still a bit surreal um, in the last video I couldn't even really get my thoughts together because uh, I was so excited so hopefully I do a little bit better uh, this time around. All right, so I'm not sure why I just went over that line right there. That was kind of random. Okay, so how do I feel about this bike? Well, first off, let me start off by saying that I don't obviously get to really, you know, give it the beans, if you will, um, because I am still breaking the bike in, right? Um, I am going to follow a break-in procedure, so being gentle with it. You know, I am giving it gas here and there, but not getting too crazy with it. So obviously I'm not getting to the bike's full potential until, it's af until after it's broken in. But with that being said, so far this bike is truly amazing. I mean, right now the balance just feels so good. I mentioned in my last video, most bikes when I first get on them, I just have to kind of get to know the bike and get comfortable. And just from the very first time I sat on it to the very first you know mile, I just feel right at home on this bike. So. The way that it's laid out, the way the um, the way that I sit on the bike, where the handlebars are, where the uh, foot controls are, everything just feels really perfect to my body. Um, I'm six foot, I'd say a little bit longer arms than normal, but everything else is pretty average build, and I feel very comfortable on this bike. The other thing too is this bike is really light. If I remember correctly, it was about 400 and some odd pounds, 430 maybe. It really feels super light though. I feel like I can just kind of whip it around. It doesn't feel I would get stuck behind a truck. Okay, he's turning. All right. Um, it doesn't feel like I have to fight it at all. Pretty much wherever I do, the bike will do, right? If I move the hips, the bike moves. Everything's, you know, just super, it just feels super agile, super light, super comfortable. So definitely the perfect balance for me from a the way the bike feels standpoint. So here's the thing about this bike, right? It's got a lot of upgrades from the previous generation. And even without it even being broken in or me really ripping on it, I can already feel that. Um, the suspension feels really good. The braking system is really top notch. I mean, from, you know, you've got the front brakes, all Brembo Stelima. You've got the Brembo Master Cylinder, Brembo in the rear. It's got a really good initial bite and it just always has, it always gives me confidence, right? There's nothing about the brakes that I've ever gone, oop, not there. They're always there. They feel really good. So far, they felt really solid and so really happy with the way. Um, the braking system is set up on this bike. Moving on from braking, suspension so far feels really good. I'll probably have to dial it in a little bit here and there as I get more familiar with the bike, but so far in stock form, just feels like a really good balance on this bike. Everything about it, I, I keep using the word balance, but that's just really what it feels like. I'm actually gonna pull over here for just a second. I do need to uh, swap out some of my batteries. Apparently I did not put in fresh batteries when I took off and I got stuff beeping at me, so let me fix that real quick. All right, back on the bike. Um, sun's finally starting to come out. So yeah, so first ride going really well so far. 
really I have no complaints yet I'm sure I'll find little things to nitpick about as uh, as I go along with this bike but again so far really good the acceleration is even without me pushing the bike very hard it just feels really good for street use it's gonna have more than enough power based off all the reviews that I've seen it seems like this bike might be underrated from the factory it's starting to sound more and more like it has 130 horsepower not 128 but either way 128 130 whatever the number might actually be it is way more than enough for for regular street use again not even broken in yet and and i mean twist of the throttle and you're already well above the speed limit already in trouble so this bike has phenomenal power to weight ratio again like i mentioned earlier super light so that 130 horsepower really does go a long way and it just feels like the power is very linear i feel like there isn't really a dead spot in the rev range. I feel like I always have a good amount of power. Obviously it builds and gets stronger as I get closer to redline, but it just seems very smooth and linear. I, I feel like the words smooth, linear, balance just keep coming up in this, you know, in my head as I'm thinking about how this bike feels so far. I also just can't get over how good this color looks. Really, I'm, I'm a huge fan. I feel like so many, so many, um, well actually cars and motorcycles have been doing this whole 50 shades of gray thing where you get white, black, light gray medium gray dark gray silver and everybody was just kind of afraid of color and to be fair the the last generation of uh street triple had kind of a similar issue where you had like a silver color and a black color so to actually get you know a red color and a yellow color this time around is amazing so definitely a huge fan but yeah so far you guys again just getting the bright the bike broken in feeling really good i mean just oh, i just pulls so good it just i mean it just has a really good power to it i'm loving it so far yeah you guys so definitely put more miles on the bike i do want to get it broken in uh some more before i give you some really detailed opinions but so far everything about the bike has been fantastic so anyway if you like this video hit the like button for me and if you're not already subscribed hit the subscribe button as well thank you guys for checking out this video um again as i give it more and more miles i will give you more and more detailed reviews but so far everything about this bike seems just amazing with that being said though thank you all for watching and i'll catch you on the next video peace